Today, we're going to test out this mini PC from Camru E. Some may say Camru I. It's got a uh, Ryzen 7 Pro 5875U processor. That's an eight core, 16 thread processor, 16 gigabytes RAM, 512 gigabyte M2 SSD drive, uh, three 4K display ports, USB C, Wi Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.2. So let's get it plugged in and test it out. Along with the computer, it also came with a mounting bracket, screws, so you can hang it up on the wall, uh, power supply, HDMI cable, and power cord. Okay, here we go. I don't really want to sign into Microsoft, so I went back and chose a business account, and we'll see if this works. And it looks like it's going to work without using a uh, Microsoft account. That's good. All right, we'll come back after this is done. Update's finished, and now it's going to restart. Now I'm running uh, Geekbench 6, and we'll see how that comes out here in a little bit. Well, here's the score. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it means, but we can look it up. All right, so our score was uh, for the single core, 1987, and this is how that compares to a bunch of other computers. Looks like the uh, Intel Core i9 is the best up at the top at 3134 and then there's there's a lot of computers a lot of processors ahead of uh, our score of 1987 the intel core i5 is it 2300 Here's 1988. So it looks like it's uh, pretty close to the Intel Core Ultra 5 134U. 700 megahertz, 12 cores. As far as the multi-core test went, we're at 7870. Again, the uh, Intel Core i9 is up at the top. Let's go down to around 7870. There's 79, 7877, and that's the Intel Xeon E5 2687W version 4. Uh, 3 gigahertz, 12 cores. Okay, now I'm running Cinebench. Uh, let's see how that compares to Geekbench. Well, this is interesting. For the Cinebench test, multi-core, um, it put it above the Intel Core i9 9880H. So, that seems pretty good. Okay, here's the result for the single core test. And it looks like it's right above the uh, Intel Core i7 4850HQ. One of the main reasons for this new PC is so I can run OBS and I just installed it and it suggested a video resolution of 1920 by 1080. So that's good enough for me. 
Okay, let's do a startup test and see how quick it boots up. That's pretty quick. All right, see you next time.